All right, so this is a unusual product that is on my channel. Definitely a first of its kind, but this is a projector. A company reached out to me called UUO P6, and they wanted me to review their home theater uh, projector. And I'm not well versed in the projector space, but I'm going to give my best insight on what I think about this product. Um, this is the UUO P6, I might've said that already, but I'm gonna show you guys my unboxing experience, and then I'm gonna tell you guys about the features and what I think about the product itself. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Will it be better than my 4K HDR TV? Um, I have my expectations, but I don't think so. So it looks like this is where my cables are, but I wanna see this projector. Oh my goodness. It's really well insulated, is that the right word? I'm just gonna say it's really well packed. I think the only time, or the only thing I think of when I think of a projector is like in school when the projector is like above you. Hopefully the other issue that I'm thinking of right now is I, I hope it's not too loud because I know projectors can get pretty loud. And whoa, look at that eye. I will say, I mean, I don't look at projectors often, but this is a pretty clean design. Uh, looks like we have a power button up here. Okay. And this is just navigating the menu. Um, on the right hand side, I guess this is what actually changes the focus. Let me see if I can take this off. Ooh, nice and easy. So it looks like this knob right here changes the focus of the display. And as you can see, the lens is coming out. Do you guys remember that an overhead projector? in school where like the teacher would be writing down. Uh, I might be dating myself there. So looking at the other things that come in the box, we have a remote, which I believe controls the projector from a distance so people don't have to stand on the stool and hit the ruler to hit the buttons. We also have an HDMI cable, which is really good. I like when companies provide people with HDMI cables, not HDMI cables, but just cables in general also have a power adapter which you know you, you got to power the machine somehow and then we have what looks to be a video and then two audio into a single port um, i don't think i'll be using this i think most people have moved on to hdmi but for those people who need this cable they provided this for you which is nice so i am actually going to get this hooked up in my bedroom because I really don't have space and actually I do have space. I can just throw it up on the wall behind me. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so there is a little bit of a roar. Comes on pretty quick. Wow. Wait, my Apple TV wallpaper looks so good. I keep saying wallpaper, screensaver. Wait, what is this, LA? downtown Los Angeles. All right, let's let's play an episode on a Netflix show real quick. Okay, so for one, the volume is a little bit there's no punch to it, but watching content on this this is like a movie screen. Okay, that scared me for a second. Wait, this looks like I'm at a movie theater. Wait, this looks so good. Whoa, what? Okay, I don't get copyright striked, but wow. This projector, I was not expecting it to be this good. So as you guys can see from my first impression and unboxing, I was quite impressed by this product. I wasn't expecting it to look this good. And honestly, I think I said in the video that um, it was almost better than my 4K TV. I can't remember, but it looks really good. Um, what I wanna point out is when I was watching TV shows and movies, it looked like I was watching it in a movie theater. And I guess it's just the way that the projector is reproducing like from the light source it looks like a little bit of a film grain going on. It looks like, it just looks like I'm in a movie theater. That's all I can really say. It doesn't look as crisp as a TV, but if you want that movie quality feel to it, 
I would say that you might want to look into getting a home theater projector. But another thing I wanna say is I don't have a actual projector screen. I read online that projectors look a lot better when you have a projector screen, but all I have is my white wall. And I know that a white projector screen produces better brightness and then a gray projector screen produces better color. I don't have either of those. I just have my white walls and I still think they look pretty good just for it being on the wall. But I expect if I did have a projector screen, um, the quality of the image would greatly be improved. So I don't have a home theater room. I wish I did. And I don't really have a space where I can use this outdoors, but this thing can extend up to 300 inches. Um, whereas my TV is only 65 inches. So it's definitely a lot bigger, whether the quality of the image is good or not. I can't say specifically, but I would think that since you are able to calibrate specifically on how much focus you want for the projector, it would still look relatively good. So now I want to talk about something that I'm better well versed in from my laptops and smartphone reviews, which are the ports and basically the design aesthetics of this. So on the left hand side, we have a full size SD card slot with two HDMI ports. On the back, we have a VGA cable for businesses that still use VGA in their offices, two USB ports, an aux and a headphone jack. We have IR blasters in the front and the back. And then on the right hand side, we have our keystone, our manual keystone. It also has a digital keystone as well. So you don't have to um, mess with this all the time to adjust the lens and the focus. You can do it digitally within the software itself. Um, in terms of the overall aesthetics, all around the outside, it is black. And then on the top, we have this brushed, I guess, plastic gray finish. That's more of silver. Um, then on the top, we also do have our power button and then our menu buttons as well if you don't have the remote, but I suggest using the remote most of the time. Um, on the bottom, we do have mounting holes, like I said in my unboxing review. So if you want to mount this up towards the ceiling, you can do that. And now let's talk about some of the features it has. So like I said before, it does have the manual keystone correction. And just to get into a little bit more depth of what that is, that's basically just you trying to focus the image. I don't know what that noise was. It's much better to do your manual keystone correction first because it, you are able to get just a little bit more accuracy. But if you don't have that option or you're just, I guess, lazy um, or you can't reach the key, manual keystone on the side, you can use the digital software that comes built in and it still works relatively well. So this does have safety precautions. So if the LED bulb inside reaches 158 degrees, it will shut itself off and try to dissipate the heat as much as possible. Um, I haven't gotten to that limit yet and I've used this for about three hours. so. Um, I don't know when it's actually going to hit that limit, but people who are well-versed in projectors probably know when you're going to hit that 158 Fahrenheit limit. Um, in terms of the volume, I also want to touch on this. So the built-in speakers aren't the greatest, in my opinion. I would say after about like 80, if you go higher than 80, it does get a little bit distorted. Um, but I think people who are buying this for home theater use, you probably have some type of external sound system that sounds way better than probably what most people have to offer. Um, if you're using this for business, uh, like PowerPoint presentations where you're not going to be using volume, I think you're going to be fine. Um, also, if you're using this indoors, like if you're trying to replace your TV with your projector, I think you're going to be okay with the speakers that are built inside here. Just don't expect any crazy surround sound, stuff like that. I didn't do any gaming on here, but I would say I would much prefer playing single player games on a projector, um, specifically just because that it just has that movie quality feel and single player games kind of feel like movies. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing like any type of like competitive or multiplayer games on here just because you might get a little bit, not even a little bit, you might get like a decent amount of latency and you're just going to be at a disadvantage versus everyone else. Um, but I would say like for party games, uh, single player games, playing games on here would be pretty good, but I don't have a console to test this out. So fortunately, all I really used this for was TVs and movies. Like I said before, I don't know too much about projectors, but I decided to look to see how expensive projectors can get. And wow, projectors can get really expensive. On some websites, I saw them go up to all the way like $3,000. They're using like laser technology. The lumens is like 50,000, which is crazy. So HDR probably looks really good on projectors, but this is only $300. So you have to kind of set your expectations to what you want to get inside a projector. Um, in terms of LED, I think this is priced pretty competitively. Um, this isn't like a compact projector, so I believe that's called the Pico projectors. Um, that's probably in a different um, market, 
but if you are looking for a home theater, a proper projector, um, this is probably something that you should consider or at least compare to your other projectors that you potentially want to buy. But there are a couple of things that I wanna talk about that some people might find really informative. So in terms of the sound, I know sound is a pretty big um, component when it comes to projectors. And this one gets at max, I've heard about 55 decibels. Um, I'll have a clip to show you guys what it sounds like. So like I said before, if you're using this for more of a home theater use, I don't think the noise is going to be that big of a factor just because what you're watching is probably going to be louder than the projector itself. But if you're using this for more of like a business use, like doing a lot of presentations, you might want to consider that the noise that this thing does give out might want to look into getting a uh, Pico projector. So I might be overreaching here with my dislike, but I wish you could change the Keystone um, a little bit more with your, the remote. I know there's something called like the lens correction, but I know that's only offered in like really high end projectors. Um, if that's something that could be implemented in more of, I guess the more budget friendly projectors, that'd be pretty nice. But the digital keystone works pretty well. Just wish that we had a little bit more um, keystone correction when it comes to getting that perfect image quality. All right, so the question now is, do you gotta have it? And it's pretty light, I forgot to say that, but um, you have to be a very specific target audience for this. Um, if you're shopping for a TV, a projector is probably not going to cross your mind at all. But if you're a person using this for home theater use, then this is something that you might want to consider, like I said before, at least compare it to the others to see what this has to offer compared to the other things that you're looking at. Um, for 274, it's, I mean, like I said, I don't really know how projectors are in that competitive price point because there's a lot of projectors and the range that it goes from, it goes from like $50 all the way up to like $5,000. But I think what you get inside this projector is pretty nice. It's LED, so it's gonna last a very long time. Um, it does get a little bit loud. I don't think a lot of people are going to be mindful of that if you're using this for home theater. But that's all I can really say about this UUO P6. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe to see more electronic content in general. I'm going to try and bring more stuff than just laptops and phone reviews because there's a lot more technology out there than people realize. But if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button. But if you didn't like it, dislike it. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm gonna try and answer them to the best that I can. And as always guys, much love.